Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about uh, lanterns or Chinese lanterns. They're used a lot for filmmaking. Some photographers use them. There's the professional Shamira style lanterns, which is uh, behind me over here. And then you've got your paper lanterns that people like to use as well, kind of more disposable. I wanna talk a little bit about the differences and why you choose one over the other in certain situations. So let's start with the paper lantern. The most obvious thing is that it's very inexpensive. You're gonna pay $20, $25 for one of these things. It uses a, a regular socket inside which you could build yourself or you could buy one from a photo store. Please do not buy a socket at a hardware store because they generally do not handle the wattage that you need for a photo flood. So photo flood bulbs kind of look like regular light bulbs, but they're color correct. So that's you know, generally what people want to put into a, to a china ball. But be weary because these things are made out of paper and you have a hot light inside. I have a 250 in this one, uh, even though the directions say not to go over 150. So I'm gonna be very careful here and if we see it light on fire, that'll be a different video. But anyways, so with the Shamira's type ball, I can go up to a thousand watts with this thing. Also, it's consistent fabric. It's made by Shamira. If I rent one now or I buy three of them or whatever I have, I know it's always exactly the same. So like most professional tools, it's gonna give you a consistent result. Also, you can use a lot of different bulbs in it. I can use the uh, screw-in bulbs, add the same photo floods that go in that one. I can also use uh, two-pin style bulbs, halogen bulbs with this adapter. This is gonna allow me to have bulbs that run at uh, a much longer life. Photo flood bulbs have a very, very short life and you don't wanna be in the middle of filming and having them blow out on you. These have hundreds of hours of life, all different power from 250 up to 1,000 watts you can put into this thing. In addition, these kind of lanterns come with a skirt. What the skirt's gonna allow me to do is I can actually block off part of the lantern. This is useful if you're in a small room and you don't want all the light bouncing everywhere and filling in on your scene. So it gives you a little bit more control where your typical uh, paper lantern is not gonna give you that control. One thing I do love about the paper lanterns though is that they're very inexpensive, as I said, but also you could even have them in your scene. You know, if you were doing a party shot, you could have this thing in the scene dimmed down as a little bit of fill or near somebody's face, and it doesn't look weird that it's in the scene. Obviously, this is like a professional lighting fixture. You don't want that in your scene. So let's take a look at what the light looks like with these. Both Right now, I have them both turned up all the way, and as you might imagine, large light sources close to the model, I'm getting a beautiful even light over top of her. Uh, the 250 on the one side, the 1000 on the other is creating a nice even flow. You will notice that it's actually pretty even even though there's much more light coming out of or much more wattage being used in this fixture. That's because this is thinner paper. You know, it just makes sense. So if I were to turn this one off, the, uh, the Chimera one, now we're just seeing the look from the paper lantern. It's, a, it's really a beautiful look. It's a nice light on somebody. You can make a portrait like this. It's a good for like overall. I like to use these for like uh, scenes where there's multiple people talking. Um, if, we, if we turn the Chimera back on, and turn off the paper lantern. You know, again, beautiful, soft, even light. So really, if you weren't looking at a wide scene like this, you may not know at this exact moment the main difference between them. I would say that long term, if you love the look of a lantern, you're gonna use it a lot, the investment in the Shamira is gonna make sense. If you use it once in a while, or you know it's gonna get trashed while you bring it, then the paper lanterns are great to have. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and take some shots with some lanterns. Uh, put them online, hashtag them, NYC, and we'll check them out. I'll see you next time on set.